Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. It's September 10th, 2012. To my left is Logan Burgess and I'm Brock Shimbino. Let's turn over to Fire Tip to get the lab quotes out of Chicago. As you can see here, the grains are narrowly mixed. Corn is slightly down, beans up about one and a half, and wheat up about two and a half this morning. You know, I think the trade is really apathetic as we head into the Wednesday's reports from the USDA. I don't think we're going to see a, a big move one way or the other, either positive or negative. I think traders are really going to be either taking some profits off the table and evening up some positions, or they're going to add positions ahead of this report. So I don't think we're going to see the mo market move one way sharply, uh, one way or the other. Logan, you did take a look at what the analysts were expecting for Wednesday's report. Why don't we take a look at what the numbers are? Yeah, Brock, well, if we hop into this slide here, Reuters did take a poll of analysts here, and basically the average guess for this corn yield on a bushel per acre basis was 120.6. As you can see here, the range was pretty wide, 117.6 on the low end, 124 bushels per acre on the high end there. A lot of analysts right now aren't going to be surprised if we do see a sub-120 yield out of this report on Wednesday. Uh, you know, then the million dollar question is, is this factored into this, uh, this corn market right now? There are good arguments on either side of that. If we take a look at soybeans though, 35.79 bushels per acre was the average guess. 34.5 on the low end, 36.7 on the high end. Brock, what's kind of your take on these numbers as we uh, approach Wednesday's report? You know, I, what I'm looking at here is that uh, corn, we do have some early uh, harvest results. Corn was about 10% harvested as right. of Monday, last Tuesday's report, excuse me, crop progress. Um, but for soybeans, we don't have a lot of early indications on harvest. We're looking for about a 3% harvest pace in this afternoon's report. So, I, you know, I think corn, they, they might use some of those numbers to get their estimates uh, for Wednesday's report, the USDA. But I don't think they're going to have very much to go on for soybeans yields. So right, right. That's something we're going to have to watch as uh, Wednesday's, Wednesday's report comes out. Speaking of harvest, let's take a look at the weather, how that's looking for the next 6 to 10 days. As you can see here, we're looking pretty dry across much of the Midwest. We should advance pretty rapidly for um, you know, those areas of Iowa, Illinois, Indiana. That harvest pace should move pretty quickly. And also looking for a harvest pace to be about 17% complete as of uh, this afternoon. The area I'd like to note though for precipitation is uh, Nebraska, western Kansas, and Oklahoma. You can see there that their precipitation is expected to be quite a bit above normal for the next 6 to 10 days. They desperately need it as they're heading into hard red winter wheat uh, planning uh, for them down there. Mm -hmm. As far as temperature is concerned, you can see we're pretty warm across much of the Midwest. Not unusually warm other than in the western part of the Corn Belt. North Dakota, South Dakota, parts of Minnesota look like they're going to be a little bit above normal as we uh, move about 6 to 10 days uh, ahead here. Yeah, certainly. If we take a look just at precipitation here over the next week, it does look like in terms of precipitation, the best chance for good rains is going to be coming in on Friday and Saturday of this week. As you said, Brock, that Kansas City wheat area down there does look like it's going to get a good uh, good drink here over the next week. So that's certainly good for the developing 12-13 uh, crop there. Uh, you know, in terms of the soybean crop, not really much these rains can do at this point in terms of yield. Primarily, this is going to be slowing down harvest, not, uh, not really adding many bushels to this crop uh, after we've had an exceptionally dry summer here. We will keep you posted, though, on crop conditions and progress. That will be coming out this afternoon, as you said, Brock. At Grain TV is where you can find us on Twitter. We'll be tweeting about that report immediately after it comes out. I think that kind of wraps up our show here for Monday morning. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.